Hi, and welcome back. I am Lauren Margulies. For those of you that are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. And today we are going to move through just a quick meditation, maybe 20, 25 minutes. And this meditation is going to be an opportunity to access a deeper sense of calm, a deeper sense of connection within yourself. The day that I am recording this meditation is on an Aquarius new moon. And the new moon is going to be exact in about 90 minutes or so. So we are right in the thick of that Aquarian energy as I record this. And what is important about new moons is this is when the sun and the moon come together in the same sign and start a new moon cycle. And when new moons happen, this is a time for us to be really conscientious of planting seeds. Now, when we are in the Aquarius mansion, the sign zodiac sign of Aquarius, this sign is all about the greater good. This is about planting seeds, not just about ourselves, but planting seeds about how as human beings, we can help to be a better part of society. We can help grow society and move in the direction that we believe is for the greatest good. Aquarius energy also invites us to be innovative. It invites us to be technologically advanced. Now we are in a Mercury retrograde this um, season, but we are going to move past that Mercury retrograde um, hiccup and utilize this Aquarius new moon energy to consider ways in which we are ready to be innovative, ways in which we are ready to access technology to benefit ourselves, but again, also to benefit the greater good. How can we utilize technology as a tool for healing? And this is going to be a topic that comes up more and more as we continue moving through this air age that we are all moving through. Technology is a huge piece of that puzzle, how we interact with technology and how we allow ourselves to create ways of healthy boundaries, but also healthy ways of using that energy for positive change so that we take that sense of control back over um, technology. So take a moment and get comfortable. You are welcome to be seated like I am. You are welcome to lie down, whatever feels good for your body, but just find a position that feels comfortable and allow yourself a moment to settle. And so if you are seated, maybe start to root through the sitting bones. I am seated on a yoga block, but you can use a blanket, you can use a chair, whatever works for your body. If you're lying down, maybe you find some props that will help support your body, a rolled blanket under the knees or a little higher under the thighs, or maybe something to help support your low back, whatever works for you. Once you take a moment and get comfortable, just start to kind of roll the shoulders up and back, just finding a little bit of release in the neck and all the way across the shoulder blades. And then next time you roll the shoulders back and down, just pause for a moment and feel as if a dear friend was just very gently placing their hands upon your shoulders. And as they place their hands upon your shoulders, you just feel that immediate sense of softening, that sense of release. And imagine also with that, that peaceful feeling of connection. And as you envision that dear friend in your mind's eye, take an opportunity to send them well wishes, just considering something good for that person that you care about deeply. And this is very Aquarian. We are concerned about not just ourselves, but other people. So taking a moment to consider that friend, and sending them that positive healing energy from your heart. And as you notice what that feels like in your body, allow that to facilitate a deeper sense of softening. We'll take a cleansing breath together, deep breath in through your nose out through your mouth. We'll do that one more time. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Now we're going to take a moment and just build a little bit of um, ease in the body, a little bit of a deeper sense of relaxation. So all I want you to do is take a moment to create fists with your hands, really tight fists with your hands, and then let them relax. We're going to do that again. 
Create a really tight fist with your hand. Feel that energy. Feel that surge. Tighten, tighten, and then release. We'll do that one more time. Tightening through the fists, creating this deep sense of pull and push in the hands and the fingers, and then gently release. And just take a moment to check in. What do your hands feel like now? Do you feel a greater sense of ease? We're going to find that same action with our face. So I want you to squish up your face, wrinkle your nose, wrinkle your forehead, your eyebrows, squint your lips, and just make this tight little face, and then let it relax. We'll do that again. Tighten up your face. All of the muscles feel them drawing in towards each other, squeezing, tightening, and then release. Last time, we're going to tighten up the face, squeezing the muscle, tightening the nose, squinching the lips, and then let it all soften. Another cleansing breath, deep breath in, out through the mouth. Now just check in with your face. Notice if the face feels more expansive, softer, more open, just checking in. Hmm. Now begin to grow through the spine, feel the crown of the head lengthening up towards the sky. Feel the sitting bones lengthening down towards the earth, whether you're seated or lying down, just imagining that gentle lengthening and imagining that grounding connection through the sitting bones and that ethereal connection through the crown of the head. And imagine just accessing both of those energies simultaneously. What does it feel like to feel grounded to the earth but also to feel connected to the skies, the planets, the stars, all of that is above us. And when we imagine both of those energies, we allow those energies to slowly filter through our bodies and eventually meet together in the heart center. So take a moment to find your attention in the center of your heart. What does your heart center feel like in this moment? And how can you pull the energies of the heavens, the skies, and also pull the energies of mama earth, that rooted sensation, and allow those energies to meet together in this heart space. Directing your breath into the heart. as we stay connected within our heart space, I want you to take a moment to contemplate ideals and ideas of ways in which you hope and pray that our society can come together. Take a moment to consider ways in which you believe our society is capable of advancement. How can we advance as a culture? Take a moment to consider ways in which you as a person can contribute to the advancement of our society. Making a mental list, a mental list that stems from your heart. How can you be of service to the greater good? Now, once you've created that list, just gently place it in your heart center, knowing that there is work to do, knowing that we must still continue to show up, but utilizing these seeds of intention for the betterment of our society, of our country, 
your country, if you're in a different country, and most importantly of our planet as a whole. Take a moment to consider ways in which we can help the earth. How are the ways you can show up as an individual to create a healthy and whole planet for us to sustain ourselves on? Making that mental list that stems from your heart. Placing that list of ways you can help the earth in your heart center, allowing those actions to be taken at a later time to show support of these seeds. And now taking a moment to consider personal intentions, things that you are ready to cultivate within yourself, ways in which you can show up for yourself. Making that mental list that stems from the heart. Once your list is written, take a moment to place that list with your others in your heart center, knowing that you will show up for yourself, that you will take the actions necessary to move towards your own highest good. We'll allow our awareness to move back to the breath. Start to feel your body expand as you take oxygen in. Feel your body soften as you breathe out. Now, as I have mentioned in the past, Aquarius is fixed air energy. And to honor that fixed air, we are going to utilize another breathing technique that allows us to retain breath in the body, but also allows us to calm and settle our nervous system. This is a counting breath where we will breathe into the body for four seconds. We will hold the breath in the body for seven seconds, and then we will gradually exhale back out for eight seconds. So again, it's a four, seven, eight breathing pattern, inhaling for four, retaining that fixed air energy for seven, Exhaling softly for eight. I'm going to count the first couple of them with you. And then once I stop counting, I want you to just continue that breathing pattern on your own. We'll begin all together with a cleansing breath. Deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. One more time. Deep breath in through the nose out through your mouth. We'll inhale for four, three, two, one, hold, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, three, two, one, hold, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Hold, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more full cycle of the four, seven, eight breath. Once you complete that last breath, we'll take a cleansing breath, deep breath in, out through the mouth. Take a moment to allow your breath to continue flowing in and out of the nostrils. And I want you to imagine that every time you breathe into the body, you are watering the seeds of intention that you have placed within your heart, using the breath as nourishment for the seeds of intention. And just allowing the breath to match in length, maybe in and out for six or seven seconds. Allow your tongue to relax, your jaw to be expansive, eyes to widen internally. On your next breath, we will simply allow the exhales to move out slower 
then the inhales, maybe in for six and out for eight, maybe in for seven and out for nine. the counting of the breath and just allow the vibration of the sound to continue nourishing your seeds of intention. what arises as you hear the sounds of the chimes, allowing that ethereal energy to flow through you. Imagining advancements personally as well as collectively. Recognizing the ways in which you are a piece of the puzzle. Ways in which we can better our society, our countries, our planet as a whole. Know that your seeds have not only been planted, but have also been nourished. Know that in your heart, you have the answers of the next steps to move you towards your own highest purpose. Take another cleansing breath, deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. One more time, deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. We'll softly start to wiggle the fingers and the toes. And gradually circling the wrists and the ankles. Maybe rolling the shoulders up and back, or rolling the back of the head side to side, just moving in any way that honors your body. If you are lying down, you can roll onto your side and rest there for just a few moments. And as you feel ready, we'll all meet back in a comfortable seated position, sitting bones rooted into the earth, crown of the head helping us to access the energies from the sky and feeling both of those energies meet in the center of our heart. Hands come together in front of that heart space to allow those energies to be 
captured and held within that space. We'll take one last cleansing breath together, deep breath in, out through the mouth, allowing yourself to be filled with this Aquarian new moon energy, recognizing the potential for the betterment of society, the betterment of humankind, allowing yourself to be a piece of that puzzle, taking a moment of gratitude for yourself for showing up on your mat, gratitude for this shared space and practice. Thank you so, so much for allowing me to be one of your guides. It is my honor. Thank you for being here. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Thank you for being here. If you have questions, comments, feedback about this practice, please leave your comments below or feel free to reach out to me. My email address is bsgyoga at gmail.com. That's for breathe, stretch, grow. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on the practice. So thank you so much and happy new moon. Have a great day.